Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Productions here. Today, we're going to be doing some bridge battles on wooden battles. Toy soldiers of the Red Army defending the bridge and the Blue Army is assaulting the bridge. We're going to see if the defense manages to hold out or if the offense manages to break on through. We may also do some other styles of battles later on. Either way, without further ado, let's get this thing started. The Reds, of course, have a lot of variety, whereas the Blues only have Musketeers right now, and they're just going for a full-on Red Army yeet charge. So if you guys enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Let's get it popping here, boys. Yeet! The yeet is on! Ooh, big explosions almost completely decimating the blue attackers here. But they are breaking through, and actually, some of the defenses just mucked up and killed a bunch of their own troopers. Nebelwerfer, last unit alive for the Reds. Only two blues remain, so it could be that the Nebelwerfer wins it. But the blue wins? Wait, what? Oh, they had two more units behind here, and the Red just ran out of ammo, so Reds lose. Wow, all right. Well, let's do another bridge battle here. The first one with a close blue victory there, but no cigar for the Reds. All right, we have a similar setup now here, boys, except for on the opposite ends of the bridges. Uh, we're going to also have an infantry assault. In addition to that, I did buff the number of troopers for the Reds on top of the bridge. So I added a few more uh, shotgunners as well as a couple of these... Uh, why am I blanking on this word? It's so simple. Um, cannons! Cannons! So, buffed the defenses, plus added a side battle. Let's go ahead and press play right here. And let's just a real quick pause and see what's happening. So, right now the side battle is just sort of connecting. And uh, the Musketeers are in on their first charge here. Going in deep, baby! Alright, let's see here. So the Musketeers seem to sort of collide with the Shotgunners. They seem to do a pretty good job of taking them out. I think the Grenadiers might actually be having negative effects on uh, the defenses for the Defenders. I mean, they're blowing up parts of their own bridge here, and they're going in deeper. The Musketeers doing an excellent job of clearing out the enemy. They are on to the last line of defense here. This cannon is actually dead. There's one alive cannon down there and a couple shotgunners. The mortar might also be alive, uh, and there's still a good number of musketeers. Let's see on the sides. Right now, the blues seem to be losing this left side, and they've completely lost the right side, actually. Okay. The blues continuing to persevere on the flanks here, but it's no use as the reds seem to have the advantage at this point. Just a few musketeers on the bridge now, and there we go. A swift red victory. All right, let's do one more big battle on the bridge, buffing both sides and seeing who can win. All right, boys, we going all out now. We've got more musketeers on the bridge. We've added some offensive units in the back of the red section of the bridge that are going to be charging on forward to help defend. We've added tons and tons of units to the sides of the bridge. This is going to be the ultimate battle of the bridge. We're going to see how the blues end up doing assaulting the red bridge here. So right off the bat, we, of course, have our usual musket charge here. They're going in. They're going deep. Uh, but, of course, it is resulting in a bit of a mass slaughter. Additionally, on the flanks, it seems like the blues and the reds are, in fact, engaging with each other. Doing a little bit of a line battle here. It'd be cool to just do an entire video where you only do line battles. That'd be kind of neat on different scenarios. Oh, look at this. It's like a renaissance painting. I love it. The toy soldiers getting blasted by each other. This is sick. Blues moving in on the flanks now, pressuring the Reds pretty heavily. The Reds focusing a lot on the bridge uh, on the innard. It would be really nice if this game had a slow motion mode so I didn't have to keep pausing because otherwise the game just goes way too fast. Way, 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 way too fast. All right, Blues pressuring the Reds over here now, uh, and it looks like they've almost slaughtered the Reds over here as well. I think the Reds are definitely losing this one. They basically had the exact same number of troopers as the blues uh but i i guess the blues just utilized their strategy a little bit better 
I, I don't even know what units left alive. Uh, apparently, there was something in that little stack right there. But there you go. The Blues managed to achieve a victory right there. And I think that'll be it for our bridge battles. Let's switch to another map. That was very fun. Uh, but, uh, you know, we got to get that. We got to get a little change of pace going now. So let's get some more battles going here. Okay, guys, so this is a workshop uh, mod, and it is called City Defense. As you can see, they, they have, like, little buildings everywhere, which is kind of cool. I, I could dig it. I could see how this is, like, a quote-unquote city. Uh, there's minefields defending the city. Then there's also these, like, static guns in these, like, bunkers. I'd almost say this is more of, like, a fortress complex than a city, though, to be honest. I don't know. I, I At first, I was like, oh, these are, like, buildings, but they look more like bunkers, if we're being completely honest here. Maybe maybe they're bunker buildings. Buildings converted into bunkers. Uh, I, I think the attempt is there to make it into a city, but they more or less just made a fortress. You know, to make it a city, you'd need the units to be, yes, they could use the objects as the city, but it'd be, like, sprawling across both sides, uh, and, you know, it'd be a little bit more uh, not set up all facing the enemy. You know, it'd be sporadic, because buildings don't necessarily prevent invaders. You know what I'm saying. I don't know. Either way, uh, the Reds are attacking in force. The Blues really don't have, like, too much in terms of defenses. Um, you know, they do, but, like, this is a large army, so I, I don't know. We'll see if they can win. Who knows? Um, right off the bat here, actually lots of death from both sides. So the Reds uh, charging in with their musketeers. Lots of them dying to the minefields, uh, as well as the blue defenses, which are managing to pepper them with a good deal of fire here. Blue's getting some nice licks in. This is a cool screenshot. I like that a lot. All right, continuing on with the battle. The Reds just blowing over the initial set of buildings here, literally blowing them over. And we are already on to the second set of defenses. We've got a blue reinforcement actually coming in here on the right side, taking some pot shots at the oncoming Reds. On the left side, we have similar things happening with uh, blue reinforcements heading on into battle here. The Reds, I can't tell if they're losing a great deal of numbers or they're just all stacked together. There's just so many units in a cluster. I can't tell how many are dead and how many aren't. Some of these static blue positions Firing away at the oncoming Reds. Doing some good work there for the Toy Boys. You love to see it. Cavalry, and in fact, charging in a little bit. These back defenses are now fully involved in the battle. We are on the last stand for the Blues, I would say, at this point. They've knocked out a lot of Reds, but will they be able to knock out the very last of the Reds? Only time will tell here, baby. Uh, there's certainly a lot of Reds left, but the Blues do have some staunch defenses, and the Reds are all clustered together, which of course doesn't help in their assault. You know, being all clustered together, you're, you're bound to take more losses than if you were a bit more spread out. So, the Blues trying to stand on this last building here, but the Gatling guns and cannons breaking it on down. The very last barricade over here for the Blues is in full action. Looks like both of their mortars are dead. Nope, one of their mortars is still alive and still firing away, actually, so that's good. Ooh, large chunk of the Blues dying right there. Massive amounts of mortar shots coming on in, hurting the boys. Let's see real quick. So, we have one block of troopers here. We have a couple of random troopers over in the left corner over there. Um, and everyone on the right seems to be dead. For the Reds, it seems to just be like this small little batch of troopers and cannons moving on in. So, not a lot from the Reds, but certainly not a lot from the Blues. It's sort of a toss-up on who's going to win this thing. The Blues definitely don't have that same sort of heavy artillery or ammo that the uh, Reds do at the moment. And yeah, I think I think that might be the last blue soldier right there, and he's gonna die, and there you go. The Reds do manage to seize a tight little victory right there. Uh, pretty non-impressive. Definitely a Pyrrhic victory, considering the amount of, like, weaponry that was expended by the Reds. That was pretty extreme. That was very extreme, in fact. I would- I would dare say that was very extreme. <laughs> Either way, guys, let me know if you would like to see some more wooden battles. This is a game that I haven't played in a very long time, but I picked it up again the other day, and I realized just how fun it was. I, I, I think I just needed a long break, and that was like a, a year and a half break, but now that we're back, I'm excited to do more of it. So let me know if you would like to see some more of it, because it is a very fun game, you know? It's a great game. It could definitely use a few tweaks, but like overall, it's pretty polished. It's pretty nice. So let me know if you want to see some more of it. Just write in the comments down below. And uh, if you have any battle ideas, let me know. There's a bunch of good workshop stuff, so we'll have some content for a while. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.